Okay. Welcome to the House of Horrors. And if you guys couldn't tell, it is night time here in Australia, so that's always good. Uh, nothing around here. Just making sure I haven't missed anything in my previous ones. Okay, let's read this page. Done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron paddock on the on the gates. Padlock on the gates, my bad. Small minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and detected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston and I have retreated here to the house of horrors. I must think. Don't leave me. Okay. I was too busy looking around for things that I have missed. And that scared the Jesus out of me. My lord. I just forgot how creepy this place was. Nothing else here. Oh my god, I need to remember this. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh my god. This is a pain in the ass. I do not remember one thing, and because I'm more pay I'm paying more attention. To what is happening? I just completely lose track of. See that? There's a phantom. There's a door that opens. Is that gonna. Yep. What I thought was gonna happen. Hello. Oh, bloody hell. Can we not? <laughs> I didn't go that way, I'm sorry guys. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Over the hills and far away. Are you going to continue that or not? Would have been good if you were. Do you put something here for me? Nope. Nothing to read. Nope. Let's keep going, guys. Over the hills and far away. Locks. Nothing there. Let's keep going. My flashlight is out. God damn it. Examine. Nightmare Circus. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay, just get my mouse sensitivity back up. After they let me out. Gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home, baby, sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum, did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Okay. Let's keep going. Dunrich Power Company. Disconnect notice. After multiple attempts to collect payment... We regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected 
or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed on your last bill. Contact us on 555-7868 and we can arrange payment plans so that you can immediately be reconnected. Two, if you believe that this is an in error, call call us on 555-7869 to discuss your options. Three, if you are unable to, get, to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich Power Company. So they're saying that there's no power now here. Uh, a shocking true story, Hunger. The true story of the Donners. Uh, the Wilting by Susan, Susan Azcom. Oh, his cap, that's my son's cap, maybe. Rubik's Cube, not sold, at one bit being close to being sold, even. I Love You from Calamar. Stop! I was just seeing what she would say after that. Horrible mother. Where is he? Give him to me! Shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop, cal drop off Callum, electricity bill, and fix faucet. Where is my boy? So now she's just pleading for you. It's the son. Don't leave me. Okay, we've heard that. So let's keep going. Don't leave me. Downrich Emergency Services, Miss Melliard. As we agreed to our meet in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considered a round of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of the remain of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you are suffering a relapse, please then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health, Doctor Spencer Dunridge Medical. Show yourself. Can't do anything there. What's this? Lorraine, I received a letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father all those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and then when I, when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for Gusty if you hadn't won away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking up old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe in one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Okay so, okay, so I'm not going to keep pleading on that. Okay, Don Richard Emergency Services, Lorraine Kimberly Malliard. Uh, data, data committal, 17-10-1977. Data discharge, 10th of the 11th, 1977. Diagnos diagnosis is depression. Notes from overseeing psychologists. Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Ugh. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy, which we saw at the demolition derby, and I'll probably edit that back in anyway. Oh, so uh, 
Um, and the patient responded and made a rapid recovery. Aftercare recommendations. Regularly follow up with the local physician and mood stabilizers and lithium based. Discharge instructions. Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of dis disorientation and depression. It is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her and as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication. <sighs> we have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing and her employer, Susie, has said that she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, was offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. Medication instructions. A prescription of Zolift that can be filled at Flags, at Flags Pharmacy in Kingsmouth. Um, she has been advised to start with 50 milligrams dose and then based on the advice of her doctor to increase the medication as needed. Okay. Anything over here? Oh, yep, another notice. Miss Melian, our inquiry into the state of Mi Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed on as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State. The deceased parents are the de the deceased's parents. Our agency made contact with Mr and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards the son the birth of Donald's son Callum. Unfortunately they were not receptive to our overtures and they specified that without any legal proof of biological relationship they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation and I hope that I am not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. Sincerely, Edward Stapleton. Oh, there we go. We read a lot. Nothing there. No, my circus hasn't changed. Uh, da -da -da -da. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know. I want to try and explain it. I think it I think it is because I'm so far from home and I am working so hard. Every day working at the park, it it gets worse. Like it like a spring inside my mind. Winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guy <laughs> The guys relax and we laugh and we're, we're good people again. Oh my god. Ugh. I don't want I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for our for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl. Isn't that sweet? Oh, there's writings on it now. And I do not know what to make sense of it. Over this side. What am I missing? Did I miss something? I felt like when that went off, I was missing something. My medication. Is the radio? Oh. I... Uh, take the pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organize babysitter for Callum. 
milk cheese bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks, and Zoloft prescription. Open the door. Oh my god. Examine wine. Wow. Cool wine. Ah, uh, can we close the door? Yeah, cool. Oh, I didn't want to raid that took me. Thanks. Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy, a happy character. Keep going, I guess. This is probably going to be another part, um, which I wouldn't doubt. Hey guys, um, it's me again. What a surprise. Um, I'm here to let you guys know that this last, the final part, from what I can remember from what I recorded, will be posted next Tuesday, so be sure to not miss out on that episode where we will find out what has happened to Lorraine and Callum throughout this story. Everything will come to a conclusion, and hopefully I can guide you through it if you don't understand, if I can remember what I recorded in it. Um, but yeah, be sure to check that out next Tuesday. But if you like this video, please drop a like, um, favorite and subscribe to me, just to be sure when you you get notifications every time that I post or go live. Um, and if you liked a suit, if you like this series, um, please post in the comments below, um, what game you'd like to see me play, um, as a series or just in general. Um, I have a few games lined up to be recorded, like Brothers of Tale of Two Sons and Dreamfall Chapters, just to, um, name a few, and, um... I'm looking forward to those, even though from what I've been told, the controller scheme for Brothers of Tale of Two Sons is a little bit more advanced and may be a little bit harder to get used to. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this video, please go and like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.